subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for certified entry level Python programmer. So let's get started. Question number 1, what type of language is Python? Programming or scripting? Your answer is. Python is capable of scripting, but in general sense, it is considered as a general purpose programming language. Question number 2, Python an interpreted language. Explain. Your answer is. An interpreted language is any programming language which is not in machine level code before runtime. Therefore, Python is an interpreted language. Question number 3, what is PEP8? Your answer is. PEP stands for Python Enhancement Proposal. It is a set of rules that specify how to format Python code for maximum readability. Question number 4. What are the benefits of using Python? Your answer is. The benefits of using Python are. 1. Easy to use. Python is a high-level programming language that is easy to use, read, write and learn. 2. Interpreted language. Since Python is interpreted language, it executes the code line by line and stops if an error occurs in any line. 3. Dynamically typed. The developer does not assign data types to variables at the time of coding. It automatically gets assigned during execution. 4. Free and open source. Python is free to use and distribute. It is open source. 5. Extensive support for libraries. Python has vast libraries that contain almost any function needed. It also further provides the facility to import other packages using Python Package Manager. Question number 5, what are Python namespaces? Your answer is, a namespace in Python refers to the name which is assigned to each object in Python. The objects are variables and functions. As each object is created, its name along with space, the address of the outer function in which the object is, gets created. The namespaces are maintained in Python like a dictionary where the key is the namespace, and value is the address of the object. There are four types of namespace in Python. 1. Built-in namespace. These namespaces contain all the built-in objects in Python and are available whenever Python is running. 2. Global namespace. These are namespaces for all the objects created at the level of the main program. 3. Enclosing namespaces. These namespaces are at the higher level or outer function. 4. Local namespaces. These namespaces are at the local or inner function. Question number 6. What are decorators in Python? Your answer is. Decorators are used to add some design patterns to a function without changing its structure. Decorators generally are defined before the function they are enhancing. To apply a decorator we first define the decorator function. Then we write the function it is applied to and simply add the decorator function above the function it has to be applied to. For this, we use the at symbol before the decorator. Question number 7. What is the difference between pi and pike files? Your answer is the pi files are the Python source code files, while the pike files contain the bytecode of the Python files. .pike files are created when the code is imported from some other source. The interpreter converts the source pi files to pike files which helps by saving time. Question number 8. How is memory managed in Python? Your answer is. Memory is managed in Python in the following ways. 1. Memory management in Python is managed by Python private heap space. All Python objects and data structures are located in a private heap. The programmer does not have access to this private heap. The Python interpreter takes care of this instead. 2. The allocation of heap space for Python objects is done by Python's memory manager. The core API gives access to some tools for the programmer to code. 3. Python also has an inbuilt garbage collector, which recycles all the unused memory and so that it can be made available to the heap space. Question number 9. What is namespace in Python? Your answer is. A namespace is a naming system used to make sure that names are unique to avoid naming conflicts. Question number 10. What is Python path? Your answer is. It is an environment variable which is used when a module is imported. Whenever a module is imported, Python path is also looked up to check for the presence of the imported modules in various directories. 
The interpreter uses it to determine which module to load. Question number 11. Is Python case sensitive? Your answer is. Yes. Python is a case sensitive language. Question number 12. Is indentation required in Python? Your answer is. Indentation is necessary for Python. It specifies a block of code. All code within loops, classes, functions, etc. is specified within an indented block. It is usually done using four space characters. If your code is not indented necessarily, it will not execute accurately and will throw errors as well. Question number 13. What is self in Python? Your answer is. Self is an instance or an object of a class. In Python, this is explicitly included as the first parameter. However, this is not the case in Java where it's optional. It helps to differentiate between the methods and attributes of a class with local variables. The self variable in the init method refers to the newly created object while in other methods, it refers to the object whose method was called. Question number 14. What are Python iterators? Your answer is. Iterators are objects which can be traversed though or iterated upon. Question number 15. What is pickling and unpickling? Your answer is. Pickle module accepts any Python object and converts it into a string representation, and dumps it into a file by using dump function. This process is called pickling. While the process of retrieving original Python objects from the stored string representation is called unpickling. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.